All right, so what to do with the beets that we left in the ground? Um, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do with them. We're going to make beet chips today, and I'm going to tell you how we do that, but uh, it's a fun way to get the kids involved with the gardening and with uh, the, the cooking of the beet chips inside, and they eat the crap out of them because they don't taste anything like beets. Um, these beets are pretty big. We've left them in the ground since spring, and it's now in the winter, so... Uh, but it's a few days of warm weather and you can pull this stuff out. If I weren't going to pull these out, we would basically wait till spring and then pull them out and do something with them then. Uh, either can them, pickle them, something like that. But we're going to make beet chips today and we'll usually do that as long as we can get them out. Why beet chips? Um, well, why beets? Because uh, they're good in, or they're high in vitamin C. I wrote this down. Uh, vitamin C boosts stamina, lowers blood pressure, um, and they have a class of inflammation fighting antioxidants called betalins. Okay, so basically, what we do is we take the beets, I'm gonna bring them inside, I'm gonna wash them off, and I'm gonna square them up with a knife, and then we're gonna put them on our mandolin and slice them. Then we're gonna take all those slices, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. We're gonna take all those slices, put them in a bowl with a lid on it, uh, with a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning. We're gonna shake it up, and then we're gonna put them on a cookie sheet for about 40 minutes, 40, 40 to an hour, depends on how wet they are. So let's get these inside, and we'll start that process. And I'll show you kind of step by step as we're going along, so you can kind of see how they go from this nasty little root ball to delicious chips that my kids um, will eat basically all right we got all of our beets cut up here this is about three cups of beets and uh, like I said we used our mandolin we used the slicer attachment on that and uh, the spices we're gonna put on it is some uh, steak seasoning a little bit of salad supreme seasoning and then some rosemary and of course salt uh, we'll put a little bit of this it's organic extra virgin olive oil in the bowl. We'll put the lid on the bowl, shake it up so it gets it lightly coated. And then we're going to lay them on a cookie sheet and we're going to bake them, like I said, for about 45 minutes. Uh, maybe longer, longer, depends on, you know, you'll, you'll take it out and crunch it. I like it crunchy like a chip, so it may take longer, but we'll show you that. All right, so now they're in the oven and uh, just the smell of the herbs they've been in there for about five minutes and just the smell alone is it just smells delicious so i got two cookie trays in there and um, you can also use cayenne cumin parmesan any herb or spice you want uh, you can put on these it, it's all in your taste buds i did try salt and vinegar one time it didn't come out like you would think uh, it kind of tasted just not crisp so there they go what we'll do is uh, like I said we'll show you the finished product and here we have the finished product that is three cups of beets cut down into beet chips and they have the perfect crunch you just heard there oh those are good so now I'll feed these to my family and they will love them you can also do this with carrots, sweet potatoes, obviously potatoes, potato chips, uh, kale. Um, you can do this with a, a variety of fruits as well. But there you go. And uh, now you can do it too if you got leftover beets in the garden. Alright, God bless.